hello everybody, it's Bella here from Rachel and Bella Crafts and I've come on to do a flip through of my autumn journal that I've been making. So I just want to say thank you to everybody that's commented on my uh, channel and left a like. And if you're new here, then welcome. Um, as I say, I've been making this journal now uh, for a week, I think. Um, but she did end up end up being a little bit of a gator mouth i'm afraid because i did not want to leave out any of the signatures so there's three signatures i've got a fairly rounded spine there but because i've put so much in there now she is sort of gaping a little bit it could have a tie around it but i wouldn't want to put too much pressure on it, it could work it could put a tie on it you could, um, I guess, work out whether or not you'd want a tie on there. I'm not sure about that, so I'm just going to leave it as it is. Um, we've got this lovely topper here, and it's all glued down. There's no pockets on this. I might put a bit of glue on there because it keeps lip lifting up. It's getting a bit raggedy. But this is meant to be very rustic. Um, that's the word I'm going to use for this journal. I got some corners on, on the edges of the cover, on the four corners. I've got to keep looking up because I'm only just on in the screen, so I must keep looking up. Um, I've got three buttons on here with two layers of lace, and it's the crochet lace. And I've got crochet lace on the spine, and I managed to match up that beautifully with... The crocheted lace on the um the spine so that's the back all right and let's begin so the kit is from rach and bella's um autumn kit and it was absolutely beautiful so if you fancy this kit then go over to rach and bella's etsy shop or kofi shop and um they'll be listed below and you'll be able to because she's got quite a few now she's got about four or five different but similar kits for autumn on her in her shop okay so let's begin then oh and i've stitched around there with uh, my sewing machine as well and i've stitched those on so they're all glued in let me just check now i'm on on screen as best i can i'm only just fitting it on but here we go i've got a crochet pocket uh, lace pocket on here and i have put a little trim on there a little trim on there i've just finished this off today and i've been stamping doing some stamping and this is on a stamp as well this is the tracy fox if you see any labels they're by tracy fox okay um i did show in my earlier videos which one it was but i've lost the piece of paper now but it's it's there so if i can find it i'll i'll put in the link below and i've just stitched that through there and then i've glued it on all right so it doesn't go through the back i haven't bothered stitching that because it was getting so bulky and i wanted it to slide in and out easily so i just left that one but that's a bigger tag this is absolutely beautiful and I'm in love with it. Now I've done a little bit of stitching on here. I was trying to make it look like a tree or a dead tree, but I don't think I succeeded, but I had a go anyway. So that's two layers of material on there and a little bit of stitching on the top. Okay, and I've done some stamping down here, but I stamped them and then I put the piece of paper on the top. I didn't stamp them straight onto the page because I'd already sewn in all my signatures this one i've left in case somebody wanted to put something on there an autumnal photograph or something that's a tag i made oh i've yet to put a back in on that one i'm glad i pulled that one out because i did the other one that's a little pocket there and stitch around the pockets that's uh one out of the kit and if i can get these little thingies off then i can show you i have put something inside all right and that just goes over the page like that because i thought it was just so beautiful i would leave it as it is so that's that 
I put a little cluster on there where I've done a couple of stitches on. Oops, a book page, coffee paper, or tea paper actually, that I bought off um, Etsy. And just typing tea paper on Etsy and it will, the shop will come up, okay? And I've done some cross stitches up here. So that's a little flip there. I've done a few. Uh, isn't that gorgeous? That's fabulous. And then I've done that there. And that's the back and that's the stitch and you can see on the back. It's almost like um, herringbone, this stitch, which I think it's meant to be because I've been practicing my herringbone stitch. And the same around here, I did stitching around there as well. That's, uh, that's actual um, out of a ledger, that's the word, a ledger book. I put a little stamp on there and I've sealed this. So if anybody wants to tuck anything private in there, they can. And that's the middle of the signature. And they, they're all the same. All the signatures are the same. All right, so that's that. And I've left plenty of room if the person wanted to add more things they can. But if I were you, I wouldn't put anything lumpy in there because I don't think the spine will take it. So I put a little leaf down there that I stamped. And these are flips, fabric flips. Put some fabric on this. That's part of that tablecloth I was showing you yesterday or the day before. And I've just done a little bit of stitching down there on the lace. There's another one. And I just put material at the top there. I was going to put a button on there and I thought, no, I can't because it's, it's getting so bulky. All right. That's that. That's one of the ones, the tabs that I did that I kept calling clusters. And that's that one. These papers are absolutely beautiful. There's another stamp I did. And there's another stamp I did. And I attached this stamp to the lace. And I put it on, on that page. And that's one of the beautiful tags from Rachel's kit. From Rachel and Bella. And I've layered this up with some, that's one of Tracy's um, labels. That's out of the kit. And I've just put that on there to add a bit of colour. And it's very tactile, this. That's got one sheet. This this uh, journal's got one sheet because my um, HP printer was playing up and it wasn't being nice to me that day and kept chucking it back out. So I don't know what happened there. Normally I can print them. That's another Heidi there, look. And that one there. I didn't put a, a topper on that one because, as I say, it was getting very, very bulky. And, of course, you could always remove one of the signatures if you wanted to make it more tactile, even more tactile. So that, that feels lovely. That's all lovely. That's that tablecloth I was cutting up that I got from a charity shop. Another stamp there that I've done. That's a German uh, page from a German book. That's that one. And I've just put lace on there and I've hand stitched around there onto the lace first. And then I, I put it, um, I glued it onto the, to the belly band. Right, so there's plenty of room for journaling if you wanted to keep a record of autumn can't open it now and it's the end of that signature these are absolutely beautiful gorgeous there's another flip and another leaf i put on there and some beautiful brown buttons these are gorgeous aren't they i love those and that there we go, that's two pages, that's a German uh, page again. And that's one I just, and I did back that one, so that one's done. And I cut this out from one of the um, the actual pages to put on there. 
and I did uh, one of Racy, not Racy's, Tracy's uh, labels on the top. And that's a label, I'm a, not a label, a tab that I've um, done some stitching on there on the material, the same material that is on the front cover there. That's what's on here and here because I loved it so much. And the thing is, you can always take that off and use it somewhere if you wanted to. It's a beautiful kit and I've absolutely loved working with it. There's another stamp there. And that is lovely. I really love that. That says hibernation. That's the middle of the third um, signature. And I, that's a stamp that I've just uh, cut out when, with my funny scissors. And that was out of the kit as well. Okay. And I did back that one. Look at him, isn't he magnificent? And that says autumn glow and that says autumnal. I was going to do some doodling and painting in this, but then I changed my mind. I decided then that I was just going to leave it as it is because it's so, so beautiful. And that says Bountiful. And that was one that I, I used the back of because I wanted to use it up. There we are, put that in there. One of Tracy's labels there and a crochet tab at the top. And I've stamped some leaves down here. I've got a beautiful leaf stamp. So I put that down the edge of there. And this is another little tree that I've tried to stitch with a uh, stem stitch. And I've tried to do the herringbone stitch there. I don't know whether I've succeeded, but I had a go. And that's on there. And that's another envelope with a little thingy inside. And this one, because I put the middle one on the wrong page, I had to make a side tuck there. So I thought that can go in there and you can pull that out easily with that and I put some lace on the bottom there. I've got a little stamp that I put these, um, it's not a butterfly. I can't think of the name of what it is, but it's not a butterfly. And that's on, on that page, that's right. And there's some more German on there, little stamp on there. And as I say, there's plenty of room for journaling because there's some, I've left some pages blank if you wanted to journal, okay. And that is absolutely gorgeous. My grandfather, who was Spanish, um, I told you the stories before, that he ran away to sea when he was about 11 or 12 and met my grandmother in Cardiff in Wales because he ran away to sea. And um, she was a cook in one of the hotels. But anyway, that's by the by. But later on, obviously, as they were traveling around, they, they all took up hobbies, I would imagine, on these ships. And my grandfather used to make clocks and wardrobes. And my uh, cousin has two of my grandfather's clocks and they are absolutely beautiful. And that reminds me of my grandfather. So this is the last page. I haven't put anything on there. I thought I'd leave that in case you wanted to put something on there. And I've just put crochet um, lace on there and that's a bag that I made out of a bag that I had when I was on holiday and I just cut it down opened it up and then made my own bag and that's out of the kit as well but yes that time isn't that lovely it's called seasons and time time and seasons or something like that the kit is called but you will see it on Rachel's um, coffee shop. So I hope you like her. And I really enjoyed making it. She did get a little bit chunky. Uh, so if you don't like chunky things, then this is not for you. But the tabs look lovely. Really pleased with how the tabs turned out. And there she is. So I'm going to leave it there now, guys. And I shall catch up with you again next week because I'm going away on Wednesday. So take care of yourselves. And bye for now. Thank you.